No. Falsch. Lower level. Lower level. Going down. Main assembly line. Another meal of place and even more data. You got the Commonwealth wired up, my friend. I'm big enough to admit it. So the Institute terraforming the planet theory didn't pan out. But with a few modifications, I can see if someone's messing with the tectonic stability of the Commonwealth. That's all? Oh, I found all. That was shit. <laughs> Seems like it's a good song. Hmm. Okay. I mean, no. it disconnected and it was like.
a better lock, huh? is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that So did you find out what happened to the courier? What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? Mother, Edward has better things Just to some do. raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? How dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Maybe he would lie dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. I'm not Emma Jean's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that... Place is more a museum than a home. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes it more impossible to deal with next time. Just Seems doing like my job. Answer. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. 
Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Good neighbor. Lowest place in the Commonwealth. Everything not nailed down rolls through here at some point. I heard you off that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? Entertainments down the stairs. Yeah? Mm, smell that? That's freedom. You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. You're becoming quite a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. Like shit. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Like we got another well, freak just won't hey fit anywhere else. Been a long time. Hmm? Now you're What's the up? matter, handsome? Don't it tell me crazy like a song. Talk like that. Right on the street. <sighs> We're all paying for it now. Down another gun. Everyone's gonna have to step up. Next I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. No Everything I sing is an original. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? 
I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane... She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Valentine. Hey there. Huh? I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. You know who kicked the ghouls out of Diamond City, right? That blow ah, what's this quest? Okay. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I've got more important things to worry about. I doubt that, neighbor. What could be more important than transforming your life? and maybe the whole world along with it. We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Sounds good. Well, that's just fantastic. I know you're going to fit right in around here. Right this way, neighbor. Don't worry. I don't bite. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Don't be shy. Just follow me. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. 
This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to well, learn to give up your attachment to material place, possessions sure. in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first-level pillar of the community. You must think I'm an idiot. Well, you came in here, didn't you? Now, you've got two choices. Give me everything you've got, or we take it anyway. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. Ah, you're not worth the trouble. Plenty of easier marks. Get out of here before I change my mind. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Few words with the lady and we'll be out of your hair. I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. You really think that's the best way to play this? Take it easy. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. All yours, pal. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It really isn't any of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Oh, 
Oh, that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I've never seen raiders this. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. What happened? The guards at Parsons called in that they were under attack. Edward went to help. I've only just been able to raise him, briefly. I didn't get much, but it sounds like the situation there is nearly out of control. I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other... side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack! Are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Hold on, weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go.
Ready? Let's go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be freed from Parsons. I would have lost my father forever. I... You're not running, girl. <laughs> Refuse to let that... to get to my office. From there we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Find a way around. I can't believe this is gonna be worth the trouble. Look at this place. Nothing but dust and junk. Oh, it's gonna be wait. Listen, lefties right about Get ready. being ready. What's that? I don't think so.
nice. I sent the elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while, I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure yeah. you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. There we go. They've definitely reached the basement, although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. I'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning, although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Let's get on with it. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. <sighs> Come on. Okay, can you please? Or... Patience. It doesn't have to be the day you...
We never used this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into.
Copy. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. Release Lorenzo. Everything. Since you were here, I definitely did not stop. I mean, obviously, another game, but other than that. <laughs> and hey, good morning. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. You get this open, everybody gets ahead of the juice. You're running out of time. I don't even know why I'm still streaming. Hey, I started with Fallout this night quite late, so I guess I was like, mm, nah. Let's not stop now. Finally, <laughs> free. Listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. So nice. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy? 
crazy one here. I mean, you have a stupid head on your head, so... Just open the door. <laughs> I don't let stupid people out. Everything my son has told you about me is a self -serving. You know, when I when I see him, no. That must be obvious now. And good morning to you too. Black well. kill anyone <laughs> but yeah I mean interestingly enough I, I really ask myself why I didn't do some super chaotic way I mean usually when I play these games after a while again for whatever reason I I just go crazy like with uh, like with Knights of the Old Republic 2 where I just did every stupid decision ever made. Nice. And it was fun, I mean. <laughs> I've never had so much fun than just entering a room and answering to people, you dead. <laughs> it was amazing. We didn't have any other choice, did we? For instance, now I could ju just shoot him in the head. <laughs> uh. You're gonna have to decide that for yourself. I know. He would have killed both of us, of course. And then the rest of my family, and that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now. A world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. What now? I need to bury my father and shut down this place. I won't be back here again. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. You don't need me anymore. No, without Parsons to run, I don't think I'll need such an extensive staff. Idiot. <laughs> Saving your family's gotta be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Mm, yeah, it was. Well. well, at least there was a magazine and a bobblehead. Enough ammunition to do the Minutemen task. Find this this castle storm. Now that I find here, I'm not out of ammo every two steps. I guess after the mission, I'm still out of ammo, but. <laughs> Change it. Hopefully. 
Hopefully it's not coming dead. <laughs> you have to have a seal. for the new build. <laughs> like this, I mean, what is this shit? It's just touching me and I'm fucked. Especially, like, oh. he's like, yeah, yeah, you die now. This, this, but the, the is the mile or queen underwater or what? <laughs> Did fall out, great strange things again. I mean, it seems that way. Kind of interested now. Yeah, here she is. She she's bathing. Oh. 
โอ้เป็นไงยิงI still get hit by this shit. Oh, I wish I could just throw a bomb down. It's like I don't hit shit here. You know what? I think I don't hit shit.
one of these awful beasts. Strong poison. I, I, I hate poison. <laughs> Small, shitty, whatever. New senses. Not really strong, but new senses. <sighs> How could rant all day about this shit? That's interesting, gentlemen. I heard about you uh, liking melee damage, but it's not helpful in this situation. <laughs> oh, I mean the the. Uh, the mini atomic bomb is, uh, bomb is quite strong. <laughs> Just not so much ammo. <laughs> This shit. Not just shoot like an asshole. Oh, I shot 200 something, yeah. That's nice. Finally. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I agree that that ranged. I mean, it works as far as a roleplay game ranged, but I mean, sometimes the accuracy is just so. Super stupid. Like when you're really just, I mean, if there's not any distance between you and the enemy and you just shoot at him and miss. And you're not even that bad at ranged. Whatever. Sometimes it feels a little bullshit. Uh, something down. Hey? What is this shit? Meet him in the courtyard? That's the courtyard there yeah, or are you kidding me? <laughs>
Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see what happens. quite a lot so Oh, what a stupid quest, I mean... <laughs> Maybe it's an optional, but... Still... Maybe that was the intent of the whole thing. Just to use the fucking missile launcher and then like fuck this shit. <laughs> It, so oh, the, the collision, uh, the bullet, the the whatever. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it so bad? There's no reason for it to be so bad. We have everything now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Well, that was kind of useless, yeah. is behind this shit, of course. I mean, it's not like they don't mark it at all. Just have to be near that I was... near every spot in this... Uh, I hate that when they give me quests, which are... And I mean, I, I hate it when there's... What, what, what is he doing here? <laughs> was like, yeah, let's take all the castle. Uh, I'm, I'm on the other side of the map now. Everything is is I uh, no he's a diamond what <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him he's all the time <laughs> it's just somewhere else He was here. Yeah. He was somewhere and just walking back to the castle or whatever. This, this is bullshit. <laughs> this game has issues. Not so much that it isn't fun, but I. Um, it's happening here. The smile or queen is, is bathing in the ocean. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Oh, I was so I should.
This just in. A settlement has requested help from the Minutemen. Let's not leave them hanging, people. Hey. Wow. We really did it. I've been watching the Minutemen fall to pieces for so long, I just... Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Which reminds me, I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. I've got our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Hmm. I know that one time they were just infinite shit. He was just pulling out stupid quests one after another. Like, go down. Fuck it. Oh, it's not discovered. Okay. <laughs> do you have something against colored people? Or do I just have something against idiots? <laughs> You mean, yeah. yeah, I know at some point he starts repeating the quests and this really bullshit. <laughs> it's actually something I dislike in every game and I disliked about this game. Like, if he uh, defend settlements and... Yes. And it's just... Uh, What was it? What did I need to do? I need to build some shit here or whatever. Oh, and the UI of Fallout 4 is so, so bad. <laughs> uh, recruitment radio wegen. Time to talk now. This with this Preston, why is he always? <sighs> Stay at one spot. <laughs> Cause when I when I teleport there, I know that he is. Uh, 
back in sanctuary or whatever. Like bullshit. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> Stay there. Oh, what enemies. Let's just run them. And I hate fucking storming in these games. <laughs> and suddenly the question arises, why do I play this thing? You hate everything about this game, why do you play this thing? Nah, it's a good game. It just has issues. A lot. But the game in general... I like the game in general. <laughs> like this shit. Can, can I please just teleport to this person? Just oh, the, this uh, then I'm really pissed. I mean, the thing about game developers is we see issues everywhere. I mean, okay, you don't need to look a lot to see issues here. I mean, just watch the the, the menus and what buttons you have to press to to achieve anything. <laughs> hey, I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. Oh, uh, Usability of this game is actually horrible. I'll be willing to help defend it. <laughs> As usual, I have something else for you to look into. We've got to show people the minute me. But it's still uh, it's the whole atmosphere, the whole game itself. When it's not crashing, <laughs> when the physics are working, when it's not unstable. I know what, let's let's do something. What why, why is it so zoomed by the way? Currently can we please oh, I never know. Hold up. Yeah, let's do some something. Like the memory not thing. But yeah, games I dislike. Poor. Yeah, I'm renting all of the play them. I mean, if I really, really dislike a game, like really hard, I think I'm just gonna stop playing it. But I mean, for that, the, the game has to be other shit. I mean, like, like you've never seen it before because I, I try to bear with a lot, but yeah. There have been these games where I just you just played and like this is not even a game. This is this. <laughs> of course, game implies that there's at least some fun in it. I don't see fun in this game. It's just. To enjoy this game is impossible. Not this one. <laughs> You're the contact H222 is talking about? Just when I thought one person could only experience so much danger in their life. The patient is resting right now. Were you hoping to say goodbye? I don't advise it. He's far past remembering anything about his old life give him many good memories 
Meetings with sexy strangers, that kind of thing? It's a memory wipe, not a fantasy machine. His new world is very mundane and very normal. Nothing that would draw suspicion. Now, what's your plan? Homefront, was it? Homefront, was it a strange shooter? The revolution, I don't know. Were there are several Homefront games, I mean. I remember having played something called like that and very generic thing. <laughs> Are you okay? Can't he just stay here? Out of the question. You people were the ones who explained I... to me that the railroad is about movement. L let me That's Google what that. Keeps up. You alive. Having a I have the feeling I played that too long in one game. Place is a death sentence for all of us. Looks like a little bit too new for that what I played. I think I played a home front game where the usual it was like the red flood like 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 Russia or no it was actually it was Korea invaded America but I mean it was I Feel played it in the early 2000s so it can't be something for PS4 but yeah it seems like this this is pretty much the same just open world environment oh how I like it when they, they just do open world environments just because they can. Take your time. Yeah, I think I've seen it and I've never played it, but I, I did this one I never played. <laughs> Actually, I should. <laughs> CryEngine. Oh. Deep Silver. Oh. Feeling busy. Ah, the Deep Silver is kind of, yeah. They, they have made some interesting games, but most of them are actually pretty mediocre. But hey, um... We have to use the original route. There's no other way. That's the plan? I thought you people valued discretion. <laughs> Linear in an open world, that makes sense. <laughs> I won't argue. The Malden Metro Center is where you need to go. All the Gen 1s there need to be gone, understand? All of them. I'm leaving H-222 and his future in your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this conversation. He was never here. Before you leave, take the holotape on the table. It's a personal message for your ears only. Who are you? Hey, stay back. What table? Hollow tape? What? Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, eh? I like it when they give me objectives but don't mark them or send me somewhere else or... What the fuck? What table? What are you talking about? <laughs> hmm? I, I take that. Dirty water. The best in town. She's not making sense. Telling me bullshit. I see so much ammunition here. Who are you? Hey, stay back. Let's move to eliminate. Okay, so. It was uh, I, I don't see hollow tapes on certain tables. I don't even. I could take a look at the table or at, at, at tables and. Uh, you know. Yeah, this one. 
The doctor said I could say goodbye. I've decided to have the operation. I know I'll lose all my memories. I don't want you to be sad. I I have nightmares. And Why is he world, telling me that shit? Are we lovers or what? Being hunted? I, I just can't handle it. Everyone says I'll be safer if I start a new life. I, I know I'll, I'll be happier. My only regret is I'll forget. Old man Stockton, High Rise, and you. Looking back, there's only fear. Worse than fear. But I will miss my new friends. It's time, H2. Isn't that I, kind of the thing with modern thanks. games which don't have any ideas like, I mean... If I think about Mafia Free, I mean, it's like I I I don't even want to touch that. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like take the worst things you've seen in an open world game, like Assassin's Creed, and and kind of extract even the f more. Worse shit out of it and then do it all in one game. I mean, at least 10 hours. I never played Far Cry 3. I, I hated all Far Cry games. <laughs> I played the first one, it was boring. <laughs> Except people told me it's the best shooter ever, and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bullshit? <laughs> it's a shooter where I shoot things. Nothing happens. <laughs> and I've never looked at any Far Cry after that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've looked at it. I mean, I, I've seen a video of, of a playthrough, but... <laughs> So I, I acknowledge that, that any Far Cry after Far Cry 1 is completely different, actually. <laughs> but it's it's not a good introduction if the first one pisses the shit out of you and everyone around you tells you that this is, this is, this is an amazing shooter and you're like, what is this? <laughs> I, I heard Far Cry 2 was was pretty fucked up like back then when it came out, and yeah, and that yes, I actually have no one I've seen ever has told anything good about Far Cry 2. <laughs> but like I said, I, I I can't actually tell too much about it. Nice of you to help me, but oh no, you you are actually you belong to me. Why? Wait, <laughs> we got assigned the same damn job. With all our compartmentalization bullshit, this sort of shit happens. You got the job from the good neighbor side. I got it from Griswold Safe House. How's this sort of thing happen? So Griswold's got trouble, and they send a cryptic note to HQ. Send in the big guns. And on the other side, the doctor's got troubles too. So she sends in her own damn cryptic note. And then comes the comedy. Well, I mean, it is... After all, wasn't it... Yeah, Ubisoft. I mean, Far Cry 2, it began with Ubisoft. And I mean... Ubisoft. They, they, they have their ups, but they have a lot of downs, too. My favorite. Awkward silences. Thanks for that. That's the price we pay for security. Don't tell me you buy into that crap. Sheesh. Well, since we're both here, what do you say the two heavies join forces and rock the heavens a little? Been wanting to see you in action with my own eyes. You got any details on the op? They barely told me where the hell I was supposed to go. 
Let's do this, Glory. You lead the way, my friend. I mean... I remember playing every Assassin's Creed up until... What was it? The Syndicate thing? Uh, hey, whatever. The one sense. before the current. And somehow I uh, really I can't see them seeing this uh, doing the same shit over and over again like you're like this world could be so amazing just fill it with content not with these go there do generic thing go somewhere else do another generic thing shit what is this mindless shit you obviously have Good level designers. Just fill it with content. I actually, when the first came out, it was pretty newish, and that's why I kind of got into it. And then it got more and more generic. And yeah. I mean, if you haven't played uh, Assassin's Creed One when it came out, it's actually a bit wah because because Assassin's Creed One has a kind of a very strange uh, uh, way to, to to climb buildings, very slow. <laughs> and Freedom Cry, uh, Freedom Cry was one of the the uh, side stories. Uh, I think I haven't played the side stories. Black Flag was actually, I mean, I liked how they tried somehow to get into this pirate thing, whatever, but the story was so bullshit, so, so not non-existent. Oh, when they dropped the main protagonist in uh, after Assassin's Creed 3, which had a horrible ending, the whole, whole series went from, nah, I see flaws and it's really not that good to other bullshit. <laughs> Every game after that is complete bullshit. I mean, yeah. And like I said, I mean the the level, the the world is actually amazing. Just just create unique content, you know, like like it's so, something which makes it interesting. Yeah, Assassin's Creed One. Yeah, like I said, you have to have to have it played when it came out because then it was kind of new. Of course, today, I mean, yeah, it's kind of repetitive bullshit because, I mean, you do the same shit all over and over again. Back then it was like, wow, this animation, so I've never seen this shit before and whatnot. So I kind of, and the, 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 I kind of still like how the battle system, the, uh, in, in the first one was where you still had to do shit to win battles, even though it was most of the time just waiting to counter and then insta kill it but still it was way way more interesting than 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 press a certain button which appears on screen I must end your <laughs> yeah i kind of got sick of the boat fighting too. That's probably why I still don't love uh, a black flag, even though, like I said, I mean, when you ignore that this game had a bullshit story, actually uh, black flag tried to do some something, but I mean, it was 80% uh, of the time we were, we were in a boat on the ocean and doing random shit. I don't know. And the other times you were catching <laughs> catching music sheets and I mean everything which you probably don't even want in the game collecting shitty collectibles but yeah I mean if they would try I, s I still see this shit having potential if they would get creative actually and not do the same shit over and over again. But I mean, why do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I said, I mean, you, you're talking about one of the, the side stories. 
it's like like Liberty. I mean, I played after three. I played Liberty because it was bundled with Assassin's Creed Three, and I was like, "What is this shit?" I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it looks kind of okay, but uh, why? Sweet. No, definitely. If you're not into uh, to uh, riding boats, Black Flag definitely isn't for you. It was. But I kind of share the the thing, uh, the the uh, the idea that actually Assassin's Creed is not about uh, riding boats all of the time. <laughs> not all of the time. I mean, it's cool when you do it. I mean, like like in three, that you just do it here and there. Yeah, the controls were not that hard, but you know, mm, yeah, yeah. If you're fucked off with the first minutes, yeah, I mean, obviously. <laughs> you're not going to get into that. Uh, I mean, there are different tastes. I mean, if someone is into this whole uh, pirates thing, I mean, the old pirates game. And after that, there was this Pirates of the Caribbean where they did a lot of. I mean, yeah, it can be quite relaxing to 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 do this this to be on the ocean and whatever, do whatever you want. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether I want. Dead in Assassin's Creed. It's Storms, yeah, there was something. I... Yeah, the storm, yeah, yeah, I, I remember that there were storms. I, I probably didn't dodge them too much because it was annoying. <laughs> And I mean, it was this this kind of immersion-breaking bullshit where it was like, yeah, there is there is a storm, a tornado. Why is it haunting me? The sensitivity of movement detected. Every few minutes, there is there is fucking tornado here. Hostile sensor reading detected. Hello. I think I. What they should have done with Assassin's Creed was I. I think the original designer wanted to make Assassin's Creed a trilogy, not even with, with all of these add-ons to Assassin's Creed 2 and Revelations and whatever. They wanted to make three connected games, and that's it. And this probably should have been the thing they should have done because I mean, currently it's like boring bullshit. And like I said, I mean, the first games were more or less here and there interesting, something new, not always, but yeah. 
I could see improvements. And then with the fourth, they kind of dropped the, the connected story thing. They just told random stories. Somehow with the, yeah, with the artifacts connected, but uh, not really. And the stories really got completely, I, I, I wasn't, com uh, nah. I'm not a huge fan of, of the stories afterwards. And I mean, if game, as many flaws that it might have, it, if it, Got it then even drops the only thing which keeps me interested, then uh, it opened, they should have bought a better lock. Huh? Yeah, obviously. I mean, people play play shit for that. I mean, really a lot of shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I I know people who who buy all of the merchandising of that shit, and I'm like. What an asshole you are. <laughs> That's why they don't improve that shit. <laughs> Stop buying this shit. <laughs> Please wait until it's good again. Uh, and if it's never good, never buy it again. I mean, they just... Nice. Even with Origins, I mean, they were kind of saying, Hey, this is, this is, this is the new Assassin's Creed. Now we are gonna... Gonna do... Egypt completely and the completely new engine or whatever I don't know what it said actually because I never listened to that stuff and I, I have just seen it and it's I immediately recognized it as the same bullshit I've seen all the time um, yeah, that was bright of me just I mean, the thing is, I mean, yeah, I think Black Flag was even a game I still bought for for full price, which I, I mean, yeah, I, f I, I'm not really regretting it, but I mean, it is kind of has this strange taste, like. But after that, uh, most of the Assassin's Creed I got for ten dollars or whatever in some sale, and then you say, okay. If you get it for ten dollars, it's it's not that wrong. Also, I mean, it's not like it's the worst game I've ever played, but yeah, I just don't pay sixty dollars for that shit. It's just wrong. <laughs> just a bunch of junk in here. Passing through cars is prohibited. I think I have to actually get into the elevator which was there why was yeah <laughs> I mean, in terms of business, they are doing everything right. I mean, they find a bunch of idiots who who pay money for the same shit without them even doing too much. I mean, basically, they have won. <laughs> Got it. It's, it's a little bit like AA, just that they don't have the reputation of AA no, just now. I, they, they are really trying hard to, to get the reputation of EA. And I don't know how much way they still have to... leave after them. Oh, 
Hoffnung wäre hier etwas scale. I think the dudes with the money win. <laughs> And I tell you, they will not stop. Like I said, I mean, there are a lot of people just, just, I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, with the, the, the last uh, Assassin's Creed, like I mean, I told you of the, the people who buy it with merchandising and whatever, they, they even buy it for, for three different systems, because I mean, obviously it's always different versions there. Oh, yeah. Hello. So, and they, you obviously need all of the versions, not that you miss out on one DLC or whatever. And so there are people who buy, uh, or who buy, who, who, who spend easily uh, $500 on, on or yours or whatever. Just on, on, on one iteration of Assassin's Creed. And I'm like, the fuck. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, we can even, we can even discuss whether you like the game or not, if you, if you like it. Okay, I mean, who am I to tell you that this game is shit? Okay, I like weird things too. 500? On a game? You sure we're not gonna need that? Yeah. You really wanna tell that someone who, who likes things who is into shit? I mean it's like 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 telling someone who collects stamps that it's nice. paper after all. You didn't get it quite right in detail. They didn't just spend 500 on a game franchise, they spend it on a single game. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, uh, the urge to do that, to, to spend, uh, to, to buy it on, on different systems is because they release different versions there, where some DLCs are more or less included or whatever, or some, some unique content, exclusive content. Sure, it's madness, but I mean it. You know, they still do it. <laughs> Maybe we, sh we should just send them somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, it's 500 to me. I mean, the thing is, with 500, you could buy interesting things <laughs> or survive. And for getting basically the same game over and over again, which isn't even that great. Yeah, gentlemen, you you, you don't need to convince me. <laughs> and yeah, they are manipulated. I mean, basically... I don't think Basically, PR has won with them. Ubisoft did everything right, actually. Uh, with GTA 5, I can understand it in some way, not buy it on every console, but like if you bought it, I mean, it was first released on PS3, I think, back then. And I mean, PS3. They did a lot of shit to to make it work there and whatnot. So it it uh, if you bought it for any following generation because you see you wanna see the graphic there or have the graphic there. Okay, I I might understand that someone kind of uh, bought it two times, but not like five times or whatever. You can do that. Yeah, 
online, I don't know. It's another thing. All of these social bullshit clubs. I mean, I kind of always liked the world in GTA, the open worldishness. I still didn't play GTA 5. <laughs> GTA 4 was, uh, the story was kind of disgusting before the DLCs. The world was good. But only the DLCs were worthwhile in story, more or less. In my opinion. I mean, it, it started off quite well, by the way, I mean, the GTA 4, but somehow it got like boring, <laughs> story wise. But the DLCs were cool. The the rocker club and then ballad of Tony, gay gay Tony. <laughs> they were cool. But it's a lot of the time. I mean, when when developers don't need to to develop the engine anymore, or just need to fix shit and whatever, improve it maybe. And they can actually concentrate on just creating content. Don't do anything else than just create content out of the shit you have. Then things have the chance of getting good. Or they get like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> And I still have to say, all of the things I'm telling here are my own personal opinion. You can be of a different opinion, and I don't hate you for being, <laughs> for, for, for not sharing my opinion. So if you like the story of GTA 4 completely, for instance, just in a, as a simple example, no issues there. If you liked all of the Assassin's Creed games, if you <laughs> bought it 10 times and think cool, no issues, it's your money. That might be what I think. <laughs> I mean, yeah, personally, I think you're wrong, obviously, but I mean, it's your life. You, you can be wrong all of the time. <laughs> Sometimes I, 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 I sound a little bit like, I hate you for being retarded, but no. <laughs> I just speak out my mind, and sometimes it may sound a little bit insulting. I don't want to, but that's that's the thing when you speak openly, maybe play a game while doing that. It doesn't get filtered socially, and sometimes you're like a little bit of an ass. I hear that a lot, and it's probably true, but what can you do? I can only ensure you, you can speak openly. <laughs> I have yet to find people I ban here or whatever. I have never banned someone because I, I, I let people speak their minds. And more than once I had people Telling me how great Adolf Hitler was. I mean, pretty interesting shit. 
Oh, that girl's pee is really the better shit. Yeah, the better shit, yeah, that, that they, they want to be girls because girls have a, a very adorable way of peeing. That, that was interesting. The route's been clear. H-222 is safe to move. I know. I already got an earful from Glory about Malden. Operational security is worth the occasional crossed wire. Anyway, Amari reports H-222 made it out safely. Anything else I need to do? No. You've bought us time to find a new route out of the memory den. The crisis is over for now. Take this. You've earned it. You really want the freedom, Trina? By yourself. I hope to God the Institute doesn't find us here. Well, at least not soon. Word is, Diamond City is under opposition control. And thus, the tides <laughs> calm down. Processes are busy. No one has to say anything anymore. <laughs> All things being said. I suppose you're here for my medical services. We've got a lot of sense in play right now. It makes things really Okay. Can you hit this shit? Oh no, I didn't sell whatever I could sell. I don't know, maybe I have to. At one point. Just get me a little bit more. So overloaded. What is what is wrong with me? I think I have to invest 
I don't want to invest too much into strength, but I mean, <laughs> I have one point. Yes. I literally have absolutely no strength in this game. Can I? Who wrecks the toilets? Aww. Out here again. It's horrible. <laughs> and did I say something about the collisions in this game? Yeah, whatever I'm hitting here, I'm not hitting the dude. This meat shit here. Just because it's near, you like. 
definitely not, but with the game, the game is always right. Oh no, he's hitting the fucking...
What is it? Please don't tell me you don't fucking mark it on your map. Of course. Are you doing? Damn. Okay. That's what I mean with the the UI is amazingly bad. But I can't. Okay. Of course I'm. I know. Nearby, okay. Ah, Garrett stuff. What? Who's there?
obviously our way overload. <laughs> yeah, these are way too expensive. <laughs> I, I, I wanna have to. See what you have. Here you are. This alive. Go for nineteen, okay. So nice for this. Wow. I think gold bars and copper bars and whatnot. Or probably things you wanna buy. Uh, not buy. Loot. <laughs> I don't know, I could take. Chilinium perception. Is there something written? Ridiculously strong here and oh. <laughs> Boxing glove, okay. <laughs> what do I have? 25? Just have no taking a look what I actually have here. Pretty good shit here. The form, maybe. I mean, pretty good, it's not modded and not whatnot, but. Definitely, uh, this, this can't. Ammunition, please, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was no one the actual.
I really can't continue whatever I want to say. Okay. Excuse me, can I yeah, talk sure. to you a minute? What do you want? Well, you were in the tap house the other day when Paul made such a fool of himself trying to fight Henry. Now he's missing. Uh, Paul, I mean, it's not like him, and I'm worried something's happened to him. Have you asked Cook about it? Well, that's the thing. Henry's missing, too. Which is what makes me really worried about Paul. <sighs> I'll keep an eye out for him. Really? Uh, thank you so much. I'm sure he's fine, but uh, I really appreciate it. I think last time I accidentally, or for yeah. whatever reason, shot him when they had that argument. And I was like, I have no clue. <laughs> but he kind of sent some killers after me after that. Yes, really. No question or nothing. <laughs> I think I should go to the ball. Yes. Is as long as I don't have any quest. I mean, what, what, uh, what is she expecting? So, yeah. Guess I won't find him. I really don't feel like playing hide and seek. Can you please just appear and then we...
No. No. Oh, how I hate this. Stop this shit, can okay, yeah. Yes, I this thing's killing me. <laughs> Why? Don't even think about that joke. I buy and sell. Just put up everything you've got and let's see if we can make a deal. Sure. Let's take a look. I mean, he has some ammunition, but no. wanted to start something, like a conversation. You failed. <laughs> Tell you had in mind when you signed up for the gunners, hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? That is not now, Private. Completely random and. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The again, not helpful not since you see I carry guns. <laughs> tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh my, Connors. Where, where's the rest of him? Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what uh, found that's us? That's why, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> and uh, to, to uh, maybe try to mention it, uh, I think it makes sense that Melee is stronger than unarmed. I, I really... I have more respect of someone wow. coming at me with a nailed board, whatever, than with 
the office. I, I still have respect of people which come at me, uh, who come at me. With the office, since I'm a programmer, but... Still, the nailed board is more scary. And even the strongest person will get stronger <laughs> with, a, with, with a shitty weapon. Ghouls appearing here or something. Oh, yeah, I somehow remember that. Well, great. <laughs> Which, yeah, that, that makes kind of no sense, but, yeah. Maybe they just didn't think about people fisting each other. Pun intended. Just went back. Home. Yes, yeah, I just went back. Great. Nice. I still want to it. How nice. <laughs> Are you the, the nagging tutorial screen now? Which displays unnecessary information. I don't want to read about. <laughs> Every player laughs in his game. Like, nah, don't tell me that. Nah. Wants to read that. Nah. Ah, here's the door, obviously. Ah, it was the. the was the death? Yeah, yeah, the, it was the death closet with this. I fucking hate Fallout, so random. Whatever was stuck there in the environment. Movement is horrible. <laughs> the death claw should die pretty fast.
like the random holes on the floor where I just don't come out anymore because physics.
Whatever. I mean, there's no one. No one gave me that quest. <laughs> Maybe they did not. I don't want to carry that. Oof. I just want to have this, this point here. Oh. Waste this shit. Yeah, it seems like it's time to do the glowing sea quest now. Maybe I got my power on one. You came to visit. I... I almost thought you wouldn't. Somehow everything is to fall down. <laughs>
Can you please just do that shit? I really don't care. Oh, I hate long walks. Like <laughs> long ball walks. I didn't say die. Did I attack them by the way? Or oh, they just mad at me? Please not.
Well, it's okay that the hut is different, but... Well... I, I'm unopinionated. <laughs> Nice is that the color is not. I mean, when you see green over hours and hours, and then you have this yellow color, then you see okay, it's another color. <laughs> also, the half transparency is cool. It's like, yeah, machine. <laughs> I mean, I understand what they wanted there, and it is kind of. The idea is cool, other than that, it's hot. Oof. It's kind of like the. Yeah, was this the glow in Fallout 1 or how was it called? At the bottom right of the map. Which was pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of that.
would be something. Oh, shotguns all suck. My one shotgun all suck. So aggressive, so so Nazi. out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. There wouldn't be a place I could resupply around here, would there? Hmm. You may seek Brother Ogden. He should have some provisions on offer. For a price. This is where we commune with Adam himself. I am surprised you have survived long enough to reach it. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. Yes. 
I am a real that is probably an easier way. Like some super obvious, here you have to go away. I don't care. I, I wanna go this way. Like some super obvious way like this. <laughs> Certainly end in your immediate death. 
What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? It... it doesn't matter. Fine. You know what? I don't even want to know. You want to get yourself killed, that's your problem. But I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. I can help you get in there, but I want something in return. What do you want from me? Before I had to escape, I was working on a serum that would serve as a cure for my... condition. I wasn't able to bring it with me. It's still in my lab and... well... look at me. I need it. I need you to find it for me if you manage to get inside the Institute. What do you say? You help me and I'll help you. All right. All right. Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, and they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? A courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pit boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to... not get killed. Not gonna lie. The odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, Remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for.
nicht drin ist und die Location. Ja, fuck. We're sucking down a lot of rad sticking around here. Oh yeah. Someone there? Primary sense are critically damaged. Hello. Someone's coming. Thank you. 
There we go. Game and it's grenades and fucking rockets. Yeah, how about we start it right to the button? Because mm. no one actually wants to save the progress of the fucking looting shit. Very nice game, very nice. Oh, and Tune of the radio. The courser's on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. What's going on down there? How many of you? bottle cups in the box. Lights out for you! Snoop them out. Who's there? What? Give 
me a fucking real weapon. Actually. Only give me something special. But not a. Uh, box sockler. Will you take a fucking stim pack, please? Got him. Good, good. Barricade stairwells and hallways if you haven't already. that you hit this guy? That's amazing. Of course it's going to be you. Fuck you. I will not.
Really fuck up now, yeah, of course. Sometimes it just wants to. Okay, <laughs> then that's that for the session today. Maybe I do some breakfast now. Thanks for being here and whatever. And the stream is even breaking down half, more or less. Have a good one. Till then. <laughs>